that is as small as this and knowing some of the rules of accounting sort of um, the, the feeling I think when you're when you're doing one of these is is there a way to separate tasks in receiving bills approving bills and paying bills and so if, if you've only got a couple of people there's there's some things that you just you just physically can't do unless you hire more people That's correct. and and so, so when we're in, into those kind of situations, and we are, are there other things that we can do? Um, are there other are there recommendations that you can make to us so that you feel more comfortable to, you know, to, to give us the blessing when you, when you look at our numbers? There's not really anything you can do from that standpoint because really the, the <clears throat> only solution there is to have another person available. And of course, with the budget, it's just you know not there. We see this throughout, you know, a lot of small governments as well. It, it's it's always a problem. Um, there's you know certain things you can do uh, as far as having somebody else review the bank statement, things like that. But you know, aside from hiring somebody else to spread the work around, there's nothing really else you can do. Okay. But then also part of your audit, you, you have a chance to look at anything that you see that where discrepancies may occur or be occurring, and that you would point that out. That is correct. And, that is and correct. you didn't see any, I believe the audit was in good standing. And That's right. Okay. That's right. So do we need a motion to accept this as the thing? Yeah, go ahead. Um, I move we accept the auditor's report as presented. Second. Got a motion second. All in favor say aye. 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 The motion is carried. Notice Chairman's law. 